Hi, I'm Donna Miller. I'm going to show you how to do a shadow and behind your text in Inkscape. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider clicking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell to get notified of future videos. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll need to do is you need to open up Inkscape. On the left hand side, you're going to notice a whole bunch of different icons you want to select the one that has an A. That is for your fonts. Then you'll go up to the top bar and you'll click that drop down menu and you want to scroll down and select whatever font that you want to use for your text. So it won't actually show all of your fonts until you click and drag and create a box for where your font is going to go. I'm picking the Super Mario font and I'm going to type in Noah. Then you want to hold down control on your keyboard and you need a real mouse and you want to use your scrolly wheel and scroll up and that will make your font larger so you can actually see what you are doing. Now you want to go to the left hand bar and you want to select that paint can. That will fill the bounded area. So click on that. At the top you want to leave most of this alone. We want to change that MM to PT, that stands for point, and that's going to make what your offset will be. You want to change that number. If you make it higher, then you will get a larger shadow in the background. The lower the number, then the smaller the background will be for your shadow. So you just need to determine how large or how small you want your shadow to be around your background of the word that you are creating. So I like to start out small because if you just double click on this, which you'll see later, then you can make it larger anyway. So I do recommend that you use a smaller size when you are selecting the points for your font. So I like to stick with nine. Once you have your point size selected, all you need to do is go down and click on each letter. So I'm going to click on the A and I'm clicking on the black part of the A. Then you want to go over and click on the black part of the H and do the same thing with the N. And then you're going to go over and click on the circle part that is not gray. You just click on that and it will turn it gray. Now if you would go through and just click on the gray again, it would again increase the size of that. I don't really want that, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. On the left hand side, I'm going to select that arrow. That will give you the ability to move your shadow down away from where you're at. So if you go on the top panel there, right underneath the layers, if you skip that middle line and go down to the line below it, that will let you raise and lower up your layers. So I want the Noah to be on the top. So I'm going to click that gray layer and I'm going to click the one that says lower it down. And then you can move your Noah on top of that. Now please keep watching because this is the number one mistake that you're going to make. So go to file, save as, and then you're going to save this as an SVG. And please keep watching because I'm going to show you what happens once you import this into Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the image that I just saved and I'm just browsing very quickly for that image which I just called to be Noah. I get this weird error, click any, OK anyway, and if you look it didn't have the Noah, it, all it had was the shadow. So I'm going to show you how to fix that next. If you look at the bottom it says path and then the next one says text. So the problem is is that text is text and it's not an SVG. So to fix that go to path and click object to path and then when you click on that and you look at the bottom of the screen that's going to give you layers. So that tells you right there that it is now no longer a text. It's an SVG and it has nodes that you can click and you can manipulate the nodes if you want to. So now I want to go ahead and change the colors on my text. I don't want them all black. So all you have to do is select your node button on the left hand side with all the icons. It's the second one from the top 
it's the one that has the arrow and the three dots. So you're going to select that. Then you want to go down and select your paint can. And then at the bottom of the screen is all the different colors that you can select from. So again, just select your node button, then go down, hit the paint can and select your color. I want the NOAA to move as one big hole instead of moving all separately. So I'm going to click and drag across that entire thing. That will let me select all of the words. Go to object, then select group, and then you will be able to go up and hit the arrow and that will let you move your entire word together. I'm going to click around the entire thing, go to object and group. Now we can save this properly. So now we're going to do a file save as, and I'm just going to save this as an actual SVG. So now I'm going to go into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to go back and now I'm going to re-upload my new image. So I'm going to browse for that image that I had just saved. And this is the second version. And I get an error again, but just hit OK no matter what it says. Don't worry about it. And now you can see that the NOAA is exactly how I saved it. Always make sure that you put tags in there so that whenever you want to find your image, it'll be a lot easier to search. It will be a lot harder to try to do this later on. So just get in the habit of doing as many things as you can think of now. So then you can just go ahead and insert your image. And it will always do this, or at least it does it for me. Go to the position and it will be somewhere in the negatives, which is why you cannot see that. I always change mine to be in about five, and then you can see where your image actually is. I'm not sure why it does this every time I make my own SVGs in Inkscape and I bring them in, but it seems like it does that every time and I just have to change the X coordinate on the position at the top. And then you can try to change things around if you want, but it should be okay the way that you had it in. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking and subscribing, especially if you like to learn about Inkscape, if you like card making, if you enjoy learning about Cricut Design Space, or Brother Scan and Cut. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.